it's Kelly and I'm back and today I'm scrapping a photo of my granddaughter here and she is in love with Peppa Pig so she needed a little break and she's watching an episode of Peppa on um, her uh, uh, like her device <laughs> whatever the device is anyway um, and she oh my gosh she is so in love with Peppa right now I just love that age and so is um, M number two her older brother who's two years older than she is and they have they have birthdays less than a month apart and his is first and he got some Peppa stuff and she was not happy and then she had a completely Peppa filled birthday so it all was okay in the end but oh my gosh so I started with that peach paper that's from photo play like a girl it's the retail therapy paper and then i am oh and you know what i said it was i i'm sorry that's from fashionista the retail paper um therapy paper it's the um echo park fashion fashionista retail therapy paper sorry about that guys i have those two collections mixed in the same one and i um didn't have that right so anyway the um, floral paper there is a cut apart with four squares in it. And that is from Photo Play Like a Girl Have More Fun. And I just liked the little bit of a busyness and girliness as it added because Peppa's a girl pig, right? So that's why we did that. And then the background paper is from Photo Play Like a Girl. It's the Shine Bright paper. And I like just the um, bokeh of it. I just thought it was a cool background um, because I wanted something on the background, but I wanted that floral paper to be sort of like the star to draw your eye into the layout or the photo there. And then I have that cut apart card, that three by four cut apart, and that is from Photo Play Like a Girl. It's the Be Yourself three by four cards. And it just says wonderful. Because, you know, she thinks Peppa's pretty wonderful. <laughs> and I love the kids all have blue light glasses for when they... Um, watch things on screens when they have screen time and so I, I love how kind of nerdy they make the kids look i did a layout with her brothers with their blue light glasses on at one point not that long ago um so anyway they're cute they make them cute and i love that they're blue <laughs> so anyway so i decided originally i was going to put the floral paper and that whole cluster there right to the background and then I decided I wanted another layer in between to really help focus your eye to the photo and I found this black paper here this is Pebbles Girl Squad and it's the besties paper and it says it has cute things like um awesome cool always forever super epic hooray best friends I just thought it would be kind of cute with the whole Peppa theme here so I'm adding that in, trying to decide where I'm going to put that. And I decided to justify it down a little bit so that I had room for the title on the top. Thinking about now, what kinds of embellishments can I use here? Because I don't have a lot of embellishment from this collection. And I find this sticker from the Photo Play Like a Girl Element sticker sheet, which is just to my left hand there. It says, fall in love with as many things as possible. So kind of a, dual, you know, Peppa there. And, you know, I'm, I love her bows. Oh my gosh, her bows and her glasses. Her hair is so curly. Um, and they're trying to get it to grow out because we don't, nobody wants to cut it off. So she runs around with these, with bows and lots of these colors all the time. She didn't like them at first, but now she kind of, if she doesn't have them, she doesn't feel like she's completely dressed properly, I guess would be the best way to describe that. So I think it's really cute. All right, then I'm taking more stickers. Um, there's a little signpost that's there, there that says awesome and happy. I have those um, like light arrows with the light bulbs on it, just kind of trying to use some things up from that sheet. Uh, but nothing, you know, it, it, it's all sort of more neutral. I wasn't going to put the arrows on it first, and I thought, ah, use them up. They'll work. <laughs> and then they give me a few spots um, to embellish there. So now I'm looking through some black letters that I had pulled aside, and I found this alpha that I have barely used, and I've had a long time. It is the, a chipboard alpha from, from Dear Lizzie, and it's the Petals Thickers. And I just, oh my gosh, I love it so much. And I'm finally glad, I'm glad that I finally got to use it on 
a layout. I think it's a really nice addition that it doesn't call too much attention to the title, but it's something a little bit different, decorative and kind of girly with the dots. Since Peppa's a girl and M number three is a girl. And because it's chipboard, they don't stick very well. Now I am having to, I didn't have enough P's left. So what I did is I took an R and I'm cutting off the leg of the R to make another P. Actually, I think I had to do that a couple of times now that I think about it. I think I had to do it twice at least. Yeah, I only had one P left, which is funny that it's one of the letters that I actually used. Peppa uses all your P's for sure. And because these don't stick very well, I'm able to kind of move things around pretty easily. I will go back and put um, some some uh, scotch tacky glue. Yeah, I can never remember, or quick dry glue. I can never remember which is the name now because it changed names, um, the scotch quick dry adhesive glue on these letters because they, they're not sticking. You can tell they're not sticking at all here. They barely stick the package. One, and once you take one off the package, it when you put it back on, it doesn't stick. All right. So I just pulled that so you could see that I was going to do that. Pulled it so I wouldn't forget to do it. Although if I'd picked that layout up, they would have fallen off anyway. And then um, I, I decided to add like little, I don't know, I, I felt like I needed to spread that alpha around because it was a little bit different, although I guess the wonderful card is black and white. So I have these um, two plus signs that I grabbed. And then there was a heart left on that uh, photo play like a girl sticker sheet. So I added that in here as well too, you know. Nothing wrong with putting a heart on a layout. It's one of those kind of embellishments that works with pretty much just about anything. All right, so we've got that done. And then I do want a little bit of a different um, texture. <laughs> Couldn't think of the word. So I'm going to add enamel dots here. And I grabbed my Doodlebug Sprinkles, the tangerine assortment, which is funny because it's, I'm you know, there's only one tangerine colored dot on there. But um, I'm using that and just adding just a couple like on the arrows I just did one each and then in the other clusters I did two so you kind of if you look at the clusters there are it is kind of um three if you look at two of the clusters and then I decided to add that one up on top of that heart and ended up doing the same thing to the right uh, with those enamel dots. So there's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.